What's up guys, Birdman Nom, and welcome to episode 1 of my Kerbal Space Program Let's Play. Um, this is version 0.15.2 and it's completely unmodded. Uh, if you're not aware, it has, Kerbal has a very large modding community, uh, which is very cool. But I think for now, we're going to see what we can do vanilla. Um, I haven't really done anything except make that intro, which is quite fun. But um, I thought we'd jump in, uh, so we're going to click start game and we get to the Curl Space Center. Obviously, if you know the game, then I'm sorry, I am going to go over some of the basic stuff just so people who don't know it get a bit of an idea. Uh, this is your space center. It consists of currently four buildings, although it might be expanded in future. Your space plane hangar, you can build planes there and fly them along the runway. And your vehicle assembly building, which you l create rockets to launch from the launch pad. And then your tracking station, which is where you look at all your different stuff in space and see how it's doing. Um, there are, obviously, this gives us a bit of a choice as what we want to do first. But I think first things first, to get an idea of the game, to get a handle on how it all works, uh, controls and such... Um, I'm going to be building, hopefully, uh, although we might see, I'm going to build a rocket to orbit Kerbin. Kerbin is the planet, looks a bit like Earth, but isn't. Uh, and first of all, we choose a command module. Um, I'm going to go for the standard command pod Mark 1. Uh, it sort of reminds me of the, uh, the NASA command pods. Now, this I've, been, I've looked up a couple of the crucial points uh, online. These parachutes, the Mark 16 parachutes, uh, pretty much essential if you want your little kerbals to survive. Uh, these decouplers uh, separate the stages, and they're really cool. Like I, I can't get enough of them. Um, and there's loads of different the wings and pointy bits and spiky bits and connecty bits uh, that all do different things. I'm not quite sure about those. Um, now I've read up. I'm not sure quite. You can get com computers to control your rockets, and I'm not quite sure how that all works. But um, I know you need an advanced SAS or computer module per rocket. Uh, I know that much. And then this is the bit I've I've been fiddling with most because this is really good fun to to have a play around with. Uh, this is your fuel and your propulsion. Now, um, from what I can tell, uh, the best kind of fuel is liquid fuel because you get a throttle adjustment. It's, you can basically there's solid for rockets. There's solid fuel and liquid fuel. Solid fuel is like you hit it and it goes, and then when it runs out, you get rid of it, like on the space shuttles and some rockets. And then liquid fuel is like an actual engine uh, where you can throttle up, throttle down, control it, do all of that. So this is, I think I'm going to do a two-stage rocket, one stage to get out of the atmosphere, and the second stage to set up an orbit. So I'm going to do a really weak, lightweight orbital. That's, that's all I'm going to do for the orbiting bit. Uh, and then I'm going to need a stager. And then I'm going to need some more fuel. Probably twice as much. Oh, they're actually, if the atmosphere's th like, because if it's, th I'll go for three fuels and then a really big engine. And let's tell you what, let's give this a launch and see where it gets us. Um, oh. These, I looked these up. These are strut connectors. Basically, you use them to tie stuff together. And I was a bit disappointed to see, because normally you'd have, like, casing around here that would split as it decouples but the game doesn't seem to have added that yet so I'm going to try, I'm try what I'm trying to do is connect it together now here is the staging so at the moment this says rocket fuel tanks decouple struck I'm going to put the strut connectors in with the decoupler so that all breaks off at the same time you see it's being highlighted I'm actually pointing at the screen but you can't you can't see my finger um so those break off at the same time and then second rocket so last fuel tank computer then that breaks off then parachute and module I might split I don't know if those need to be that way around or they probably need to be that way around okay I'm going to save this uh as the Hmm. It's gonna be orbiting, some kind of orbiter name. Uh, going around in circles. How about the dizzy one? <laughs> yeah, you can tell why I haven't got a job at NASA. So I'll save that and let's give it a launch. This is our first official launch of uh, the Kerbal Space Center. Oh, uh, we have three brave men today: Hulrick, Thumpnard, and Anrim. Um. Might be saying this wrong. Um, so now, left shift and left control are your throttle. So you can see that here. I'm um, left shift to get it up to full. 
Now I believe T, yeah, T turns your computers on. I'm not sure what R does, but it makes this side light up. So I'm gonna put that on in case it's related to the throttle. Uh, and then I think WAS, yeah, WAS controls your different. Oh, and okay, so E and Q are roll, and then WAS is pitch and yaw. And then I think it's just space bar to activate each stage. So let's go for it. We do not do this because it is easy. We do this because it is hard. Okay, ready? Launch. Oh, we've got lift off. That's a good start. And it looks like it's all holding holding pretty steady. Um, holding together. Not going very fast though. I think is this speed ver yeah, vertical speed. Uh okay. Speed up. Let's go. Let's go. We need to get out of the atmosphere on this fuel, and this fuel is disappearing. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, this is a bit over exciting for me. I basically, while we're flying, why don't I talk to you about the game? Um, it's been around for a little while now. I'm not quite sure exactly how long, but long enough that uh, I discovered it through someone else on YouTube, and I thought I'd. I mean, there are other Let's Plays on YouTube, but it's not been played to the extent of Minecraft. So I thought it might be a bit fresh and interesting if you guys were up for watching uh, a boring Brit play a uh, space simulator. Might not be your ideal YouTube video, but hopefully some of you are into it because I, I'm finding this pretty fun. Um, and obviously this is only, I can always skip and speed up stuff. I'm just, I thought because it was our first flight we'd go, uh, we'd go through it um, in detail. It's being developed by a small company in Mexico, I believe, and I can't remember their name, but I will link the website down down in the description. So if you don't know about it, you can check it out. Um, and and yeah, essentially, it is a space simulator. But it seems to be. I mean, you don't need to be a rocket scientist. Well, as far as I can tell, you don't need to be a rocket scientist. You just have to have a rough knowledge of what the parts do. And there are lots of friendly people on the official forums who have nice explanations of how to play the game. Um, and uh, you need to. Have I mean it's not hugely graphically demanding. You can turn the settings up. I'm running this on high resolution so that I can get a nice HD tag next to my videos, sort of thing. Um, but yeah, it's not most graphically demanding of games. Uh, Memory-wise, I don't think it's it's a huge issue. I'm, I'm, my frames are are fine. So uh, so I recommend giving in, giving the demo a go. You can get the the 0.13 version as a demo, uh, so you don't get the planes, and I don't think you get a couple of the pieces. Uh, for rocket building, but it's still uh, a good. Oh God, we're on our last main fuel tank, and we're not out the atmosphere. This is your atmospherometer up here, and I think we've got to get to this end. Uh, if you can see this mouse, we've got to get to this end um, to get out the atmosphere. Although we have accelerated a lot, maybe this will be enough. Um, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, you can download the demo completely free for uh, most operating systems. I think possibly all of them. Um, and so that's why I did it originally, and I had a lot of fun. And I thought, heck, you know, it, why not make videos and and sort of involve you guys? If I'm having fun, you can have fun too. Um, so I got the full game, uh, which will help the developers, make, you know, continue to update it in a Minecraft style, uh, where you know you buy the early alpha and then you get all the updates for free, uh, which I think is a good system. Um, oh, hold on, fuel's about to run out. Uh, we're pretty, pretty high. You can still see the... Oh, fuel's run out. Okay, we've still got some momentum. Now, what, can I do this all cinematic-like? Ready? Separate stage one. Oh, okay. So, oh, the struts have gone. I think we're still moving at the same velocity as it, however, so I'm going to activate the boosters. Oh, there it goes. Now, oh my goodness, we're in space. Look at this. I think I can zoom out to the global view. No, it's not zooming out. Oh, it is zooming out. Oh, no, that's as far as it goes. Uh, there is a way to bring up, like, the sort of solar system view. Oh, this is this boost is doing all right. I don't know if it'd be enough to get us into orbit. And we're really, we're quite high up as well. I wonder how high we need to be. Uh, I think at some point we need to point at the horizon. Oh, sorry, I think I just bumped the mic. We need to point at the horizon to get into orbit. I don't know when to start doing that. Um, so I'm just gonna think. I think it's M. Oh yes, brilliant. Okay. Oh, that's no good. So at the moment, if I cut the power, we would go up to here. The 
Apopsis. Ap 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 apoapsis. And then back down into the ocean next to the launch pad. But we want to get in orbit. And this is another really cool thing. Uh, the planet Kerbin has a, a moon called Moon. <laughs> and a I think it's another moon. It's definitely a satellite of some sort called Minmus. But it seems to be really, really far out. It also has the sun, uh, which, believe it or not, you can actually... There's, Kerbin is on an orbit course around the sun, so I think you can get spaceships, like in orbit around the sun. Uh, look at that. I think we're far enough. I'm going to start... I'm, I'm going to try and point at the horizon. Oh, no, I went back. Go, horizon... Oh, I maybe I need to disable... Take the guidance off. Oh, oh, okay. You need to be quite gentle with the controls. I'm on a keyboard. I think maybe with the joystick this will be easier. Okay. So let's point about. That's pretty much bang on. That's just like falling over from where we were. Can I put the computer back on now? Oh, perfect. No. Oh yeah, look, it's widening out the the trajectory, and I think if that widens enough, it'll like wrap around the planet, and that'll be an orbit, and then we don't have to like use our fuel to. Uh, uh, um. Um. We've only got half a tank left to get this like bit to go all the way around that, so we might have to build a bigger rocket. Um, but we're going pretty quickly. That's our surface speed. I know this is all very metric uh, if you're in America, but there are converters online if you're interested in like the equivalence of 128 kilometers, what that is in miles, uh, and you know meters per second in miles per hour, and all those sorts of conversions. You can find those all online. I'm a bit worried about our rate of fuel burn. Oh, it is widening out. Hmm. Da, 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 da. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Look how fast we're going. How fast? I wonder how fast the space shuttle orbited. Because that was a pretty low... I think it was a low orbit, relatively. Like, not... Like, the ISS and the space shuttle orbit relatively low to the Earth. I mean, in comparison to stuff like the moon, which is not... This moon's actually quite a bit... I think it's quite a bit closer than the real moon around Earth. Oh, I think we might do it, guys. It's definitely widening up. Oh, no, we're not. No, we're not going to do it. But we can practice our landing. Uh, oh. 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 Um, if you are a veteran of the game, uh, as some of you w might well be, and you're thinking, God, this guy's awful, don't just leave me in this state of, uh, of noobishness. Leave a, leave a handy hint uh, or a top tip from the top. Uh, in the comments, let me know what I'm doing wrong. I think we're definitely gonna. Oh, we're very close. I think if we build a bigger first stage, so we can get the second stage higher. Oh, we're out of fuel though. Well, we did quite well. I would say that's like nearly half an orbit. Um, if we build a bigger first stage, then we can get the second stage higher before we have to start using that fuel, and then um, that will mean we can. Uh, you know, use more fuel into getting into orbit as opposed to getting like away from the Earth. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use this speed up. There we go. Now we're speeding. Oh, okay. Why is it slowing down? Oh, I see. They they re height restrict the speed, which makes sense. So you don't. Oh, we're gonna go straight into the Earth. Oh no, it's it's bringing back. Okay, we're gonna have a nice splash down landing next to the coast. Uh, at some point, I'm gonna need to separate from the rocket and deploy the chute. But I'm not quite sure when. I think I'm going to separate now. Uh, and although this game doesn't hasn't implemented um, re-entry heat yet, I'm going to face this uh, in the opposite direction to uh, our entry, so that if we did have a heat shield, it would be effective. Uh, I think that's how they work anyway. And um, hopefully we won't collide with our debris. Uh, one of the things they've added recently, which is I think is pretty cool, is your if you get into orbit, you can leave a spacecraft in orbit and fly other spacecraft. And also, if you put like debris, like say you put one of those boosters into orbit, it will stay there, and there's not an easy way to get it down. Um, although, uh, so that's a cool thing because it's like yay uh, realism, but it's also it's also a bit annoying because I can imagine if you have like huge rockets and you're trying to go to the moon 
and pretty soon after a couple of failed missions you'll have oh I should probably deploy a parachute 5,000 meters yeah that's a pretty high deployment vertical speeds dropping back surface speeds dropping back going for a nice splashdown oh a bit far away from the coast I'll have a couple of days in a dinghy but uh, that thing should just explode more like splash down. Yep, there it goes. And here we come. I wonder when the parachute opens. Oh, 500 meters. Okay. Well, I have to say, Hulrich, Thumpman, and on on rim, you are the first three Kerbals to go into space on my game. I know there are Kerbals who have, you know, hit the sun and stuff in on, on other people's games, but you are historic. However, I don't think you'll be the first in orbit because you are randomly like generated. So I don't think you'll be the same guys who get into orbit. Now, I'm going to build, uh, I'm going to upgrade the Dizzy 1. I'm going to make the Dizzy 2. I give you um, the Dizzy 2. Um, I found this thing, uh, which and is a like, tricoupler, okay. and so it good. makes one into three. So I just put three of the bottom stages on, and then they all going to decouple together, I hope. Um, I don't know how stable it is. Like, maybe I should have tied these things together, because it's kind of wobbling at the moment. But I think we're going to turn on the two bits here, throttle up, and go for it. Uh, how's it looking? It's a pretty, pretty quick ascent, actually. Or it's three times as quick. If you do some maths, then we've got three times as much fuel. Um, but we burn three times as quickly. See, I'm doing maths like we're a rocket scientist. Uh, what's that mean? Maybe, uh, it's pretty low. I don't think they're close to exploding. That's quite cool. Um, so yeah. I'm going to speed this up a bit, and then, oh, I can only go up to two times, well, I'll speed it up to two times. Oh, there's moving about, I think there's a moving about. One thing I think they should definitely add into this game is a multiplayer aspect. Um, like, if you could have one space station here, and one space station there, and then have like a space race to get to different goals. Because if you, I didn't know you noticed, but when you're building a rocket, it gives you mountain stock and price of parts. And that made me think like maybe in the future they're going to add budget restraints and maybe have to put parachutes on the bits you detach so that you can get them back. Or I'm not sure. That'd be really cool. One thing they, I think they should definitely add, and I, I think they might be, I don't know, is docking, so you can put like body of a space station in orbit and then get like the solar panels and dock them to it. Well, I don't know, I'm no expert on these things. But look at that! We're well out of the atmosphere now. M? Yeah, M. Oh my goodness! That's going right out. I wonder how far that can go just on this first stage. Oh, we're running out of fuel though. 100,000. Oh my goodness. I think that means that, yeah, we're going to go... Our orbit's going to be like 680 kilometers wide. Well, let's detach. And I'm just going to gently throttle back and then fire and then throttle back so it's off. And now we're going slightly faster than our debris. And I'll just check. I think you can do this. Uh, oh, I thought you could see the flight path of the debris, but I don't actually know how to do that. So now I'm going to speed up until we get to here. And then I'm going to point that way and boost so that it widens out. Uh, so let's speed up. And now we're getting close, so let's speed down. Go back to the rocket mode. Uh, rotate so that we're level with the flat bit thing. Uh, now I worked out if you just do like one tap, it will take you as far as you need to go. And then you can just use the guidance to hold you there. So let's go there, check the map. Yeah, close enough. And then I'll throttle up. There we go. And now the orbit's going to expand. Perfect. Speed it up. Oh, why under acceleration? Okay, so while I'm boosting. Oh, it's going pretty quickly, though. Da, 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 bum, 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 bum. Excuse my terrible singing. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum. Boo boo! <laughs> yeah, you can tell I'm a bit overexcited about this whole thing, but look at that go! We're gonna do it! How much fuel have we got? 
We've got loads of fuel. We also need enough fuel so that we can slow down to come back to Kerbin when we are done with this orbiter. But look at this. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to be the first Kerbals in... What's this tab? Ah! You can access your uh, doohickey mode flymo bob here. Virtual horizon? Computer horizon? Horizon. Some kind of horizon. It's a technical name for it. Uh, oh, oh. We ready, lads? There it is. Boom. What periapsis? Anyway, that's an orbit. It's Oh, it's a bit egg-shaped. Uh, I wonder how to fix that. Now that's going really high. Okay, I'm going to stop the boosting. 411, 874. Do, 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 do. We can just um, orbit now. Like, we don't have to boost and we'll carry on going around. But I'm just wondering how to get this. Maybe if I go back to uh, pointing at the horizon. Oh, why have I not? Oh, maybe I need to be in this mode. Okay, so let's go back to pointing at the horizon. Okay, maybe it's because I'm speeding up. So everyone, everyone just stop what they're doing. Right. Now, if I go... Oh, here we go. I can do it here. I point back at the horizon whilst at this side. So I'm going faster in that direction. Maybe that will push out that way. And what are we at here? 874, so we want that to be a double. Yeah, I know a bit of quick maths there. Uh, let's bring the throttle up. Oh, there it goes. Is this one moving? No, that one's not moving. Perfect. Now watch this. Carefully, carefully, carefully. 700... 800. Oh, it's moving. Why is it moving? Why did you do that? Why are you down there? Alright, let's just carry on boosting. Till we get around to here and then stop. 872, 894. That's pretty damn good. Second rocket and a pretty good orbit, if you, if I may say so myself. And pretty big as well. Well, not as big as it should be. But 600 and 800,000 meters is, is pretty far. Um, I'm pretty pleased with that. Because if you look like that's a relative, like, that's compared to, that's meant to look a bit like Africa, right? So that's the height of Africa. I'm using my fingers, you can't see my fingers. That's the height of Africa, and that's how far out we are from the surface. I know. Pretty cool, right? Okay, so what I'm going to do now is go Space Center. And now if I go to the tracking station. Oh, yep, there it is. It kept it. See, it saves the, the ships. And now I can, okay, so I can go back to flying the Dizzy 2 if I want to. Um, I think that's going to be it for this episode, guys. So let me know what you think. I want to know if you guys are, are up for maybe some episodes in this. Uh, if you have found this through because you already know Kerbal, then let me know how I can get better. Give me some tips, please. Um, and then I'll, I'll let everyone know how clever you are in the, in the next episode. So, uh, yeah, leave a like to uh, help me out. Blah, 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 blah. Leave a like to help me out. Hit subscribe if you want to see more videos. And uh, like I said, leave a comment for the relative things that I said. And blah, blah, blah. I'll see you later, guys. Bye.